enemy would love nothing more than for us to become distracted in this hour. He wants us divided, seeking everything other than the kingdom. But as children of God, we know better. It's time to seek the will of our King like never before. And it just so happens that we are nearing the end of producing a documentary on the kingdom. And so in this video, I want to share with you some of the topics that will be covered. Stay tuned. Kingdom of God movie. And it's been a long time of uh, research, um, Bible study, trying to flesh out the, the, the narration and trying to flesh out the flow of the presentation so that it all makes sense. And, you know, in doing all of that, it's pretty clear that, you know, this is going to be such a long presentation that it might be one of the longest ones we've done. Um, and so, uh, you know, prayers that we can make it also something that can hold the attention of viewers because it, the, everything that it's going to cover will be very, very important. Um, and so we have to, of course, make it visual. It has to um, be musical. Um, so that way it's also uh, captivating. But even in the material and in the content uh, itself, um, it should be something that keeps you on the edge of your seat because it's really amazing, amazing content that's going to be included in this presentation. It's going to open up discussing the kingdom of God. We're going to look at why Jesus talked about his kingdom and how he is a fulfillment of what the messianic promises foretold regarding the Davidic kingdom that would come. We're going to look at why his message was so important because we live at a time of great division. We live at a time where so many are losing hope uh, in their governments and in their leaders. And so really the ultimate hope is in realizing that our leader is King Jesus and we are citizens of his government. And so that's a message that's so important today. Um, we're going to look at how even in the Old Testament, you know, they always wanted a human king, but God wanted to be their king. And so even today, um, God wants to be our king. And when we are in his kingdom, um, a part of that is taking territory for the kingdom, expanding the kingdom. And we all have a chance to be a part of that kingdom expansion. And so what does it look like to take territory for the kingdom? There is a wrong way to do it. And there's a right way to do it. And so we're going to look at that. We're going to even explore some of the ways that the Crusaders tried to take territory for the kingdom. Um, and that was, of course, not in line with the way Jesus said his kingdom would expand. So we're going to look at the difference between um, what religion and traditions and what certain sects have tried to do versus really what God's spirit would want us to do to expand his kingdom. And then we're going to transition it into talking about the new covenant. These are actually related. And so in talking about the new covenant, we will finally be able to address the topic that many have asked AOC Network to cover. And that is Sabbath. We've never really done anything on it. Um, we have not actually we really haven't done any presentations on any particular commandments. But the one commandment that people really have been asking about is regarding the fourth commandment, the Sabbath. And so in this presentation, we're going to look at that. And the best way to do it is to be, uh, is to, of course, look at the background of it. You know, wh wh what is the Sabbath about? You know, why was it even um, instituted and, and, and what are its origins? And then uh, we are in a new covenant, yes. Um, so the question is uh, posed, uh, in the new covenant, how should the Sabbath be observed? Or, or how should we even look at it? What is its purpose um, today? And so we're going to look at that. We're going to look at uh, various perspectives. And in this presentation, I believe you will be able to, to, to see where you align and even be challenged in certain ways. And hopefully that will propel you to even doing further study, which is always our aim. Our aim is always to create content that would cause the viewer to not just stop with what the presentation is showing, but to um, be pushed to do your own study and your own research. And hopefully these presentations will help with that. And so the, with the new covenant discussion, we're going to look at 
you know, the Ten Commandments as a whole, you know, do they stand in both covenants? Are they still ap applicable for both covenants? And then, of course, that can transition into a discussion about the Sabbath, its background. How, is it, how does it relate to us today in Christ? And um, we're going to close the presentation looking at Colossians 2 and Romans 14. And so this is pretty much the narrative flow. It's going to be, a, I mean, you can just read this and see that it is going to be a lot of deep, deep theological discussion. It's going to be a presentation that would be great to watch many, many times. And uh, it's one that would be a great study. Um, it's not going to be one. Now, now our, our last movie was really more of a, um, a narrative driven documentary. This is going to be more of a study driven documentary, deep Bible study. Um, which kind of goes back to what we originally did in some of our earlier videos. And so I think you're going to like it. I think it's going to be a great blessing. And of course, thank you for the support. Um, it's been a long time since we've released something this long, um, but it's coming along. And I believe within the next month or so, we can get this out. Um, but really, you know, it's just like with any type of movie or presentation. It's not about our timing. It's about God's timing. And I know our job is to make this as good as it can be. We want this to be um, something that honors God. And so when it's done, it's done, but it will come out. Um, and we're, we're aiming to, to really get this out um, in about the next month or so. But here's the narrative flow and the research is all done. The writing is all done. And so a lot of the art assets are done. And so um, it's really about putting it together in a way that's coherent. So that's where we are now. And so thank you for being a part of this, being a supporter of this, and I hope you will greatly enjoy this presentation. And if you haven't seen our Law of Christ movie, that would be a good one to watch right leading up to the release of this. So God bless you, and I believe you will enjoy this. Take care.